Hola amiga! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video ay ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko ginawa ang aking sinulog festival costume. So without further ado, let's begin! Sa paggawa ng aking headdress, mayroon akong lumang wooden chopsticks. Kinulayan ko ng dilaw and then let it air dry. Pinutul ko into half, saka ko siya binalutan ng glitters with the use of glitter glue. And then when I assembled it, na-realize ko na masyado pa siyang mahaba. So I cut the one-third part again to make it a little more shorter. And then I attach it one by one in the metal band with the use of glue gun. Just like the eight sun rays in the Philippine plug. Then after that, I decorated it with yellow feather. And then I cut the excess part of the feather. And then on the top part of the chopsticks, I attach this 1 cm pom pom balls. And last but not the least is to wrap the entire metal band with the use of yellow ribbon. Ayan, tapos na aking headdress. Next naman ay ang aking earrings. So, ito naman ang mga materials na ginamit ko sa paggawa ng aking hikaw. So, meron akong old stuff for curtain decorations. Kinuha ko yung yellow na malaking sequence. Bali, for ang kailangan ko, gumamit ako ng mighty bond para madikit. Then, attach ko yung dulo ng tatlong feathers. Then, saka ko siya tinakpan uli ng sequence. Make sure lang na yung dalawang butas ng sequence ay magkatapat. And then, with the straight metal wire, nilagyan ko lang ng dalawang Swarovski crystals and one pearl in the middle. Then, bend ko lang yung end part and attach the sequence with feathers. And then, at the opposite end, I attach the metal hook and my earrings are done! Next is the crown. I got this wooden crown from School Supplies. I spray painted it with yellow. And after drying, I sprinkled some yellow glitters with the use of glitter glue. And decorate small three red sequences at the bottom. As for the dress naman, as you can see, gumawa muna ako ng mga flowers na napanood ko lang sa YouTube. Medyo time consuming siyang gawin, so bali... Hindi ko na pinakita dito yung ibang flowers na ginawa ko. Yung iba naman, eh, binili ko lang.
Ayan, ready na ang ating flowers. In this part naman, meron akong black fitted shirt. Sa isang one-up cut illustration board, I trace the size of my shirt. Wala akong steering wheel, so pizza cutter na lang ang ginamit ko. I do this because I don't wanna mess up the shirt when I attach the flowers and feathers. And then again, I draw the lines to make it more visible. Then, naglagay ako at least 5 cm distances from neckline to the middle part of the shirt. And from the middle, I draw 2 parallel lines with at least 1 cm distance from neckline down to the last line. Tapos ulitin ko lang yung process, at least 4 more 2 parallel lines until ma-reach ko yung both shoulders. Tapos, pwede na natin siyang ikat. So as you can see, tinira ko lang yung parang mga pillars na ginawa ko kangina. Yan yung magsisilbing attachment natin sa shirt. Tapos i-roll ko lang siya para lumambot yung board. At para mas matibay at di madaling mapunit, ay nilagyan ko ng scotch tape ang bawat end ng ating pillars. So now, it's time to stitch the board to the shirt. Actually, second attempt ko na ito, yung unang design ko ay hindi ganito. Nung inilagay ko na yung feather, ay sobra-sobra siya sa aking leeg at nangati talaga ako. And I hope this design will work! Para di mag-move ang ating shirt sa bandang breast, ay nilagyan ko ito ng tatlong maliliit na magic tapes. Yung tatlo ay itatahe ko sa shirt at yung tatlo naman ay didikit ko ng glue with a glue gun. Yan. So, pwede na tayo maglagay ng ating design. So, ang first ay papalibutan ko ng feathers lahat ng edges ng board alternately with three colors. So, mag-ingat lang tayo sa paggamit ng glue gun, lalo na sa mga kids. Uh, magpatulong lang tayo kay mami or kay ate. Now the edges are done, it's time to arrange and attach the flowers. Depende na lang sa inyo kung anong gusto nyong arrangement. So that's it for me guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para update kayo sa mga susunod ko pang vlogs. And if you have anything in your mind, please let me know by commenting down below. Thanks for watching. I love you so much and see you next time. Bye!